morning and welcome back to JPTV. I hope you all had a wonderful holiday weekend. It was a three-day weekend for most of us. Oh my gosh, I did that and um, it's on my camera. I thought there was something on my face. <laughs> but thank you so much for coming. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited today because I'm finally dipping into this new products that I bought at Walmart. So if you didn't see my video, I did a Walmart haul last week. Go ahead and check it out. I'll put the link in the description box. So we're going to be using all, not all the products I bought at Walmart, but um, we're going to be using most of them. The only difference is I can't use both palettes. Well, I could, but I'm not going to. So yeah, last week I mentioned that I'm going to be using the Pretty Poppy palette, the one that has the beautiful red glitter in it. So I'm really excited about using this palette. Um, but yeah, that's simple. Make it as quick as possible. Um, so yeah, if you're new here to my channel, welcome. Thank you so much for coming. I hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel and becoming a part of my YouTube family. I do everything on here, makeup. I do uh, true crime. Um, I also do vlogs and so, um, and then I react to a lot of paranormal. I'm really into the paranormal stuff. So I do some videos on that too. So. My channel is a mix of a whole bunch of stuff. So the great thing about that is if you like one and not the other, you can only watch those videos that you like um, and you don't have to watch them all. So I'm really grateful that you have chosen to come and see this video. I hope you like it. And let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, we're gonna start with complexion. First thing we're gonna be using is the L'Oreal Lumi Glotion. And I'm just gonna kind of like, so I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. I feel like sometimes I'm too far away. Uh oh, I don't know what happened there. Let's start again. Gotta have some bloopers, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna, actually, I was gonna drip it on my face, so I think I'm just gonna put it on my brush. This is the It Cosmetics Duo Ended Complexion Brush. I'm just gonna kinda like, I might've put too much. Kinda tap it around but I am gonna use it as a primer and not just like a, a highlighter. So it just doesn't really matter. I want you guys to be able to see the finish. So that's why I'm kind of going close up. Sometimes I'll just use like my complete hands, but I don't want to do that here. Actually, I really like that. Um, I mentioned in my last video, I have really dry skin. And so I have to use a glowy primer. Okay, first impressions, I like it. Let's see how it wears throughout the day. And you know what? I'm gonna actually use another mirror um, instead of the camera, because I feel like I noticed in my last video, I don't know if you guys noticed this, that um, I'm not looking at the camera because the, the camera's right here and I'm looking over here because when I'm filming and using the phone as my camera, it's off. So I'm gonna use my mirror. Okay, so next we are going in with the Lumi True Match Foundation. And the color I am in is W3, which is nude beige. Now, I don't know if this is gonna be too light for me because I have a tiny tan. So we'll see. I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on my wrist. I feel like for me, that's the easiest way to apply. And then I'm just gonna use a sponge. Don't really like to use brushes for my foundation. I don't know why, I just don't like the way it looks. I feel like it looks cakey. Whereas I feel like the sponge really Mixes, uh, mixes it in well. I know that's just me. Be curious to hear how you guys uh, put on your foundation and how you prefer. So, this is a first impressions video of some new products I got at Walmart. And so far, like I've never tried this foundation. I like it. It seems like it's medium to buildable coverage and it doesn't look too light for me. Actually, if anything, I feel like it might look a little too olive-y. I might need to put some on my neck too. 
you see. Even though I do have an olive undertone, so this might be a little bit too much, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think, if you think it looks good. And it could just be the lighting from the camera. Okay. All right, so I'm done with that. First impression so far, I like it. And I don't need a lot of coverage, so it works. Okay, so now, um, this is not new to me, the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. Always used it, and so I'm gonna keep using it. If it's not broke, don't fix it, right? I just feel like I haven't, I don't know, found another drugstore concealer that I like. And I'm gonna use a sponge with my concealer too. And I actually use my conce uh, concealer as my eye primer. So I just kind of like, I put it under my eyes, but then I'll just go across my eyes. And this um, concealer might be a little too light. I'm gonna make it work with bronzer. I mean, I feel like it's good in a sense because it really brightens up the under eye. But it's almost like, I feel like I look like a ghost. You know what I'm gonna do? I actually have a darker one and I'm just gonna add a little bit of that not so bright there we go my help <clears throat> let's see okay yeah and that's what I usually do but the reason I got that you know what I probably shouldn't have I was gonna say the reason I get it is because when I'm not tan it's perfect but it's gonna be summer probably gonna be really tan this summer like I mentioned, we're going to a beach house in July, so. Oh well, I'm just gonna have to make it work. Okay, so <clears throat> to set under my under eyes, I didn't get anything new. I'm just gonna use my Maybelline Fit Me. I know that it works, so I'm just gonna do that real quick. But I did get a um, all over face powder, the Halo Glow Setting Powder, so we're gonna set the full face with that one. So I set my T-zone, and now I'm gonna go in with the e.l.f. Halo Glow Setting Powder. I'm just gonna go over the rest of the face. And I'm gonna use my new e.l.f. Duo Brush that I bought. It's a complexion brush. I'm just gonna go all over the face. I usually use, um, have this big powder brush from Real Techniques, but I feel like it doesn't because it's so big, it doesn't really apply. I can't really feel the shine. I feel like it just kind of spreads the powder all over my face and I can't really see what the powder does. And I want you guys to be able to kind of see how it sets the face. It's really nice. I do like it. My face still looks very glowy. All right, so what I'm gonna do right now real quick is I am going to do my brows off camera and then I will come right back. Okay, the brows are on. So do any of you guys have a brow that you feel just like does not look the way you want it to, like a funky one? I feel like this one is my favorite and this one I always have to work with and it's just, it's off. I don't like it. But anyways, moving on. All right, so now we're going to um, bronze up the face. I'm actually going to... So the new bronzer I bought was the Milani <clears throat> Silky Matte Sunkissed Bronzer. It is a little too... Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, ashy uh, to be like a bronzer for me. I like more like a under red undertone, but it's good for a um, contour. So... That's what I'm gonna actually use it for. So I'm gonna go ahead and contour my cheeks with it. Check it out. See, oh, I love that. Actually really like that color. I think it's a perfect contour color. And it actually comes across on camera a little bit more of a red undertone than it looks actually in the pan. 
looks a little more ashy in the pan, but it looks really, really nice on camera. I love it. Okay, I'm gonna contour the forehead a little bit. And then under the chin, since I have a double chin, the older I get. And then I'm gonna use the other side to contour the nose. really like this this side for the nose contouring. I'm gonna put a little bit under here. Sometimes the lip contour, if you don't blend it out enough, it looks funky. Okay, all right, I like that. All right, so now we're gonna move on to the bronzer that I like to use, and it's not drugstore and it's not from Walmart. It's the Hourglass. Um, ambient lighting bronzer. Radiant bronze light is the color. This is my favorite and you know what? And because I'm wearing kind of like a, a brown, brownish reddish dress, um, I really just like the undertone of this bronzer. And it's got like a, a light shimmer. I like it. Not too, not too heavy, just light. Okay, all right, so bronzer's on. Next, we're gonna run real quick into the Milani blushes that I bought. And I'm actually gonna go ahead and mix these two. And I'm gonna use my blush brush. And I did try them already, actually, but I wanna try them for you guys on camera. I really like them. They have like a nice shimmer to them as well. As you guys can tell, I really like shimmery stuff. The only problem with these two colors is they look very similar. It's kind of coming across patchy, you guys see that? I feel like they're almost similar to the bronzer, so you can't even really tell it's a blush. So, I think in this case, I'm gonna add a little, what do I wanna use? I do have, no, that's gonna come across too orange need to add a little bit of, I'm gonna do this one. It's kind of like a pinky uh, from Milani. Dolce Pink is the color. Um, I think I just need to add a little bit of pink. I have a different brush that I use for that. I feel like it just needs, there we go, a little bit of pinky. So it looks more like a blush, okay. Although I do really like these. I've been using them and I like them a lot. Okay. All right, it is time for the eyes, the star of the show. And um, I'm really excited to dip into this palette. All right, so we are going to start just with this neutral color right here. It is wilted. I'm just gonna start putting that into the crease. Okay, so in the palette, it looks brown. On the eye, it looks a little bit more orangey. So I'm just gonna have to blend. I'm gonna kind of blow it out. And then kind of put it under. Go on the other side. I mean, which is fine, because I think it looks good with what I'm wearing. It works. But because it's super pigmented, I put a little bit too much. See how this is a little bit lighter than this side because I didn't realize it was so pigmented. So now I'm just kind of going in with a light hand on this eye. Now, obviously I got to build it up so it looks like the other side. And then I've got to blend this out more. I'm gonna go under. You guys will be able to see how it looks. Okay, so we're starting with that. It's gonna kind of clean off my brush a little bit because I'm afraid that that color is gonna keep adding. Okay, 
So next, I'm gonna go in with this little mustard color right here and just kind of like blend it out. And again, this is a super pigmented palette, so I'm gonna go lightly at first. I don't know what it's gonna look like. Okay, it just kind of mutes that orange a little bit. I love mustard colors too, so pretty. Like a, it's like a mustard yellow. Okay, now we're gonna just kind of darken up a little bit right here with this color, and that is called Scarlet. And I'm just gonna go on the other side of the brush, just kind of tap it on. Just gonna darken up the corner a little bit before I add the shimmer. And then once I get most of the product off the brush, I'm gonna kind of just like tap into the crease. I want it to kind of go over the eye a little bit. I'm gonna blend it out in a second. Okay, first impressions on this palette, like this was $4.97. Sorry, did you guys see that? I mean, I don't, even, I don't even know what to say. Like, how is it so cheap and so good? And it's even blending out really well. Like, that's the thing sometimes with the cheaper palettes, either they're not pigmented enough or they're super pigmented and hard to blend out. And I'm not getting that with this, so it makes me very happy. Okay, so now that I've gotten some into the crease, now I do want to blend out the crease. So I'm going to go back to the other side and just kind of blend out the corner on both sides because I don't need a lot in the corner because I'm going to mostly put the shimmer on most of the lid. Okay, and then there isn't a light color in this palette for the brow bones, so I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna go to my LA Girl palette with very similar colors. I'm gonna just use this um, muted beige color on my brow bone. Whoops, <laughs> I got some on my dress. I'm just gonna kind of tap on it because it is like really a very white bone color. I thought it was gonna be a little bit more muted and not look so white. Okay. All right, now for the star of the show. Now that I gotta get stuff off my dress. But guess what? I work at home, so if I wanna change my clothes, I can. I don't want to though, I really like this dress. And it's gonna be warm today. Okay, here we go. We are gonna go in with this red glitter. I'm just gonna use my finger. I'm gonna tap it all over the lid and hope that I do not get it on my face fallout. There's nothing more annoying than glitter fallout. So I gotta be very light. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at that. I love it. And it's really gonna come together when I put the lashes on. Here's what I can say about this glitter. And I have a lot of glitter shadows, like um, I get a lot of the pressed glitters from ColourPop. And I feel like those glitters, whereas this feels more like a shadow, like 
like a glitter shadow. Like it just really sticks to the eyes very well, whereas in other palettes, I just feel like the glitter can kind of fall down on the face. It doesn't really stay on the eyes and it looks patchy, whereas this looks like, like an eyeshadow, like a nice eyeshadow. Okay, so now I'm just gonna go back in with that brown and just kind of like tap the corner over the glitter just because we lost some of that dark brown. But the, the dark brown looks nice. Okay, all right. That's it, and I'm just gonna kinda blend out. I almost feel like with the with the red, like the color in the crease, I don't, I'm not sure I'm liking it. I feel like maybe a more muted brown would look better. But then it could just be my camera. I'm trying to see if I have any other colors that I think help. No, you know what? I don't want to mess it up. We're just going to go with that. We're going to put the lashes on. I'm sure it's going to look good. So I'm thinking with the lashes, I already tried the ones on the bottom. Um, I feel like sometimes lashes can be heavy depending on how like fluffy they are. And the ones I was using were like just heavy, like they bother me throughout the day. So I'm going to try these ones up. It's really kind of hard to see. They're very light and feathery. Um, so I'm gonna put those on and then I'll be right back. Okay, back and the lashes are on. So yeah, you can totally see. So the, the, the shadow in the crease isn't too bad. I feel like it looks really nice now that it's all done. This lash is giving me a little bit of problems, which happens, but for the most part, I really like it. You guys, this is all drugstore products. Um, I think I spent on everything $100 and makeup has gotten so expensive. So I'm just gonna finish up with the lips with my favorite um, lip liner from NYX. It is um, Cold Brew. It's like a pretty brown. I thought about the bright red, but it's too much for a work day. And then I'll fill in with this color. And then I'm gonna top it with my e.l.f. It's the Sheen Matte Liquid Lipstick. This color is so pretty. It's a warm Vienna, matches the dress. And it dries the matte and it stays on you guys all day. And it's off. All right, this is the finished look. Hope you guys like it. I love it. It was worth every dollar that I spent at Walmart. And they have such an amazing collection, you guys. I definitely recommend checking them out. And thank you for all who checked out that video. I see that I've had a lot of views on that video. So um, it's obvious that those are things you guys like to see. So maybe next time I'll do like a Target haul um, or Ulta. Ulta would be fun, but I'm just afraid I'm gonna spend too much money. All right, so I'm just gonna finish off with my new Jaclyn Hill Times Robin, which is her mother. This is their new setting spray actually really like it. I used it on another one of my videos. It smells like a spa. Mm, I love it. All right, that's it. Thank you guys so much for coming. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you next week. When we're going to use the other palette. See you then. Bye.